Why are you watching videos on secondcoming.org? This site is actually a disruptor of the traditional methods we have used of sharing the gospel. When I was exposed to it for the first time, I saw all this material rich in gospel truth available to me for free. One of the quirks of humanity is that we don't like change, while at the same time we very much desire change to happen. As Christians, how can we preach transformation, which is just a fancy word for change, but still be opposed to change? We want the gospel to be shared the same way it was shared when we were children, and sometimes in ways even older than that. Let's be clear, the gospel message is unchanging, but methods do change. This change in methodology should not scare us. Some people have translated decreasing church attendance with decreasing spirituality. And while we want every church pew to be filled, we cannot make this correlation. People have not stopped searching for truth, including spiritual truths. On February 24th, family Christian bookstores announced that they would be going out of business and closing all of their 240 stores. Across the United States, you could see fire sale, going out of business signs right under the sign that said family Christian. But this is a little misleading. It is not the consumption of Christian material that is ending. In fact, Christian material is being viewed now more than at any time in human history. It just isn't being consumed the same way. Family Christian could not meet its expenses with the sales of books, CDs, DVDs, and Christian paraphernalia in brick and mortar stores, when people like you and me who wanted to get these materials could get them cheaper from an online retailer like Amazon. And in any case, there is so much free Christian material to consume, why buy it at all? Technology's moved on, and pretending that it has not will not change things back to the way they were. Recently, our local church media ministry from just our little church here in Northern California surpassed 7,500 hours of video content available for free online. And since we add a few hours of content every week, a person wishing to consume Christian materials could watch our materials for 24 hours a day for a whole year and with our ever-expanding collection still not watch everything that we've produced. Do you understand? More people are learning of the gospel now that it is on sale and in many cases free than they ever did before. No one's celebrating that 1,300 people lost their jobs at Family Christian. That's the part of it that we don't like. But we have to admit that we like the new way of doing things. After all, it's our own buying decisions which are forcing the change. Retail stores would not be closing if we were still spending our money there. Sales at online stores would not be expanding if we didn't prefer to buy in that manner. Secondcoming.org shows us that changing technology changes the methods of sharing that old, old story. It does not change the story itself. Our problem with this process is that we can visibly see the decline in attendance at church, but it's very difficult for us to see how many people have seen us share the message online. But if we would just understand that these technological advances were given to us so that more people could be exposed to the gospel, we would see that it makes us richer and it happens only because we desire it. Take every advantage that God has given you to share the wonders of the transforming, changing power of Jesus Christ. Share your testimony. Proclaim the present truth in every avenue available to you. And you will soon see the fruits appear as souls seek fellowship. I used to preach a sermon and the only people who heard it were those in the pews. Now, these same hearers are joined by more than 10 times their number. And the message stays for others to watch who could not be present in the moment. I used to write an article and the only people who read it were those who paid for a subscription to the magazine. Now, I can write a blog and it can be viewed by many. The gospel's on sale, and that's not a bad thing.